even the best of our righteousness as filthy rags to God. So we must submit ourselves to the God who became man himself in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus could say things like, I am the bread of life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth and the life. Only he could say those things because he was God. In the Old Testament, the prophets would say, Thus says the Lord, because they were hearing from God and relaying the message. But Jesus was clearly saying, I am God. I am the Son of God. We are one. There was no mistaking about it. Even Jews would take up stones to stone him because they thought he was blaspheming, because he was making himself equal to God. So they knew his claims. They knew they were real claims to deity. And that's why they were they wanted him dead. Because in their minds, they saw Jesus as, oh, he's just a carpenter's son. His brothers are around us. His sisters are around us. And not only that, he was backing them up, them up with his miracles, the things that he did, feeding 5,000, healing, raising the dead, healing sickness and disease. People will come to him all around the region of Israel, bringing their sick. People will come to him in faith, knowing that he just needed to speak a word like the centurion. It wasn't even a Jew. And he recognised the authority of God. He could say, just say the word and my servant will be healed. The promises that Jesus made were exclusively God's promises. He said things that only God could say, only God and did things only that God could do. And so that's why he is the only way. He wasn't saying, thus says the Lord, he was saying, I say to you, Jesus also, he was packing up his own scripture. Remember that Jesus is the word. He is the scripture. He is the Old Testament scripture and the New Testament scripture. All the Bible, all 66 books of the Bible point to him, who he is, that he is the saviour of the world, that he is the redeemer, he is the shepherd, he is the bread of life. He is the resurrection of the life. There's no life without Jesus Christ. Buddha is dead. The Hindu gods are dead. Oh, Muhammad is dead. He's, in, he's buried in a Medina in Saudi Arabia. They, none of them could offer salvation. None of them do anything to save you. Because they were flawed human beings themselves. They may... You may say they were all great leaders, but they did nothing that could bring you to God. They were, could they could do or say nothing that so showed them to be gods in themselves. The Bible says in Acts four verse twelve, there's no other name given under given to men under heaven by which we can be saved. Only Jesus. And so you must come to him in repentance and faith because he died for you, he died for your sins and because our own righteousness is no good to God, our religious deeds are no good to God, our sincerity is no good to God but we must worship God in spirit and in truth and that is by uh, yielding to him and knowing, following his word, following him. Jesus said, Follow me. The prophets would say, follow God. But Jesus was saying, follow me. Because he is that way, the truth and the life. And if you follow him, you are following God the Father. You are following the Holy Spirit. Because if you come to Christ, he puts his Holy Spirit within you. And you know his voice and know his word. And, and so you are able to discern that if someone's saying something, and it's not in the Bible, it's not biblical, you can dismiss it and just follow the voice of Jesus and walk with him.